We always uh, replace lifter trays every time we do an engine. Do you? We don't. It's cheap insurance. You don't want to risk. Uh, you don't uh, want that. This area apart. breaking off. Yeah, because if any of that chips away, that lifter is free to spin around. And oh, that's in right. a roller that's what holds lifter. It in place, huh? Yeah. So how it works is, it's keyed. So if you see these two flat spots on the lifter there, it fits in just like that, and it's a snug fit. So it'll keep its place. And what that is, that's at top right now. It's as high as it goes. That lifter is going to slide in and out of that. But what's happening is it's preventing that lifter from spinning around mm -hmm, in there. Mm -hmm. So that lobe there is able to ride on that cam lobe at right. all times. So now the alternative to this is using a link bar lifter where right. it has two of them together and it's got the link bar holding them there. Like a small that block keeps Chevy. It. Exactly, small block center. Chevy, yeah. So it keeps that lifter from spinning um, in the body is mm -hmm. what I'm saying, you know. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is uh, soak these in oil. Okay. So we just have standard motor oil in here. Uh, I think it's actually braking oil. And uh, we just drop them in, let them marinate for exactly two hours. No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get oil into all the nooks and crannies of these lifters. All the, you know, everywhere. And that plunger that's inside of there needs to fill up with oil. So we're just dropping them in. And that ensures that everything in there is getting full of oil. A little pre-lube process. Exactly, is that yeah. A so on these lifters, they have a specific oil hole there, oil galley, that that feeds the plunger for the hydraulic roller. And so all the oil is going in there. So the question is, do you want that facing the front of the motor or the rear of the engine? Well, in truth, I don't think it matters. I've seen guys operate it both ways. I've always tended to go towards point the front towards the front of the engine um, because the oil passage is actually heading from the front to the rear. So that's just my thinking behind so it. So it goes straight up and in. Right, yeah. right. But I've, I've met plenty of people who are like, no, go point it towards the rear. Or I've met people who don't even pay attention to that and just go every which way. It doesn't matter. Which, I mean, in theory, it's a pressurized system, the galley. So any which way you put it, it's still going to get oil pressure into it. Um, it just seems like the less effort it takes, the better. So Path of least resistance. Right, right. So I know that that's going to be facing that way. So we're going to do that. And we'll go on like that. And I just like to stage them up like that. And, oh, that's nice. There we go. That's in, and the lifters are right now in the up position, so they're not actually touching the uh, camshaft just yet. Once you have a push rod in there, you can push them down into place. Okay, so the final step of uh, installing these lifter trays is they have, you know, you have to use these specialty shoulder bolts straight from GM, and they have a uh, unique shoulder on them that accepts it for the tray. And it's just one on each tray. These only torque down to 106 inch pounds. Note that these have been torqued, so we're good there. 